Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of my Cozy 58 video. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, I highly suggest you should because these go in a chronological order, and you'll understand this better if you watch them in the right order. Obviously. So go watch that part now. I've linked it up here in the corner so there's no excuse. Now let's move on to the video. Type. Um, I'd like to give you all a flashing light warning. If you can't handle flashy lights without some problems that's coming up, um, please skip to the next part. Like, just be careful, alright? Okay, I'm gonna start now. <sighs> I never knew torches could get to this level! Oh, help! Someone help! This level's going to kill someone after giving them a seizure! Other than the seizures, there's not much else to say about this level. It's extremely short and not interesting at all. 0 0.01 out of 10. I do not appreciate giving people seizures. New level, 8. Looking at the thumbnail, if this level isn't lethal, lava, or land, I'm gonna be disappointed. Where's the lava? This is blatant clickbait that I am not standing for. I'm gonna cancel you on Twizzer Cozy f Oh, thanks, Vaporwave No Harassment Disclaimer. Vaporwave is always so great. Anyways, on to the level. The level is based around this mechanic where it uses a sideways bounce pad that launches the player in a direction very quickly. There's an issue with this mechanic though. If you put in some input while touching it, you have a chance of dying, like getting shredded by it. Now, this wouldn't be too much of an issue, but this level has no checkpoints. All you do in this level is touch bounce pad, get to next section, go over the bounce pad, repeat. There's nothing else in this level. I would give it a 1.25 out of 10, but with no checkpoints in the bounce pad, sometimes shredding the ball, I give it a 0 0.8 out of 10. Bumper City. That name is not bringing pleasant imagery to mind. I'm thinking of a bumper and bounce pad spam of all kinds, and this level being very irritating. I don't see a clear path leading anywhere. I'm stuck. There's no end to this level. It's like a menu, but but with no skin select. There are the promised bumpers, but definitely not as many as I was expecting. As always, the torture in the middle of the stage hurts to look at. There's not much to do in this level, and it doesn't have a skin select, so it fails at being a level and a menu. A pointless level, so to speak. Taking all these factors in, I give this level a 0 0.25 out of 10. New level 9. That is a really promising name there. Hopefully this level isn't complete garbage. Hey, 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 guys, guess what? I want you to guess what? Like, subscribe, and leave a like, subscribe, and leave a like, comment below, because we all know what's up. Now, right now, I, I can't take much more of this. <laughs> I want you to guess what? This level is bad. It is so bad that it did not even deserve a name to uniquely identify it other than the number 9 just new level 9 <laughs> sorry guys i'm not i'm not sure what went wrong other than this entire level so let's start with the obvious why is the thumbnail a texture used in the level it's literally a screenshot of the level being used as a texture in said level why mm. anyways ignoring this torture fest over here we'll get over to this punching glove and you know what we're gonna do? Wait. And after that? Wait. This glove is so slow. Ugh. So fun. After the world's slowest elevator goes from bottom to top to bottom to top because you cannot get in the first cycle fast enough, you get to this platform where you wait for it, wait for more gloves to move, and if you land on these from them, You'll just have to wait even more. The most fun part of this level is clicking that little exit button that takes you back to the menu over there, or maybe even press Alt F4 if you don't want to waste any more time. All this level is, is waiting, and you know how rate levels are just waiting? 0.05 out of 10. New level, 2. 2 comes after 8 and 9 apparently, wow. Innovations in math here. This level is curvy, full of curves. Colorful curves, my favorite. I don't know why, but I like this color scheme a lot. Maybe I'm just going numb to these broken levels. After you finish the first section with the macaroni curve, which is easier than I thought it was going to be, you get to a vertical macaroni curve section, which is harder than I thought it was going to be. 
After that, we get to these U-curves that we have to fall down to get to the final section, which is green curves with gray blocks and a red ending. You know what? I like this level a little bit. 3.5 out of 10. Generosity. Hellarina. Wow. The name of the level sure describes the look of the thumbnail. Hopefully this level isn't as bad as the thumbnail. Oh! Uh, uh, why? 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 There's so much wrong with this! The abnormally scaled army of souls, the random cyan floor, the giant bounce pads in the background. Uh, when you respawn in this arena, you have a high chance of dying instantly or being pushed around randomly until you die, with no control over yourself. I guess this is a hex simulator, since all you can do is suffer internal pain. 0.2 out of 10. New level, 10. Continuing the new level series, are we? 8, 9, 2, 10? Seems about right. Alright, so this level takes place in a wooden box of sorts, eh? The beginning has these punching gloves. You know what? I think Cozy58's favorite enemy is the punching glove. I've been seeing them everywhere. After you get past the punching gloves, you go through a few more turns, and the level literally just ends here. It takes like 5 seconds to beat. Great! A very inoffensive level, except for the tortures. There's not much to judge, so I give it a 0.5 out of 10. New level, or whatever. Yet another entry in the new level series, I see. No thumbnail, so we're in for a surprise. I am very much surprised. Could have never expected this in a hundred billion years. There's a mini bowling ball here for whatever reason. There's also two pathways to take here. Both paths are identical, though there's one key difference that the eye cannot catch. The left path has nothing at the end, while the right path has an end. So if this level was supposed to be a two-player race, it failed. Miserably. But do you want to know how else it fails miserably to be a two-player race level? Player 2, for whatever reason, spawns at the end of the right path, so they win instantly. It's not even a race. For being boring, short, and a failure, this level gets a 0 0.2 out of 10. Back to gibberish names, I see. It's been a while since we got a gibberish name. The thumbnail paints this level as a colorful mess, so let's see if this paint dries. This is the driest paint I have ever seen. All the textures are thumbnails from previous levels, basically, and I actually do like this background very much with the transition from dark space blue to bright yellow. The gameplay consists of going from squares, to pellets, to circles, to triangle. At the end, there's a fan that does nothing for whatever reason, I don't know. It has this a little square decoration to make it look like a rocket, that's a little cute. Plot twist coming, guys. That beautiful background transition was actually a giant yellow face texture. That takes away some of the magic in my opinion, but it's still a pretty cool idea. Oh no, plot twist number two is coming. This whole level takes place inside of a catapult. Wow, just for using level ideas now, are we? There's not much else to say about this level, to be honest. So just take my 0.6 out of 10 and let's leave. Hey guys. I'm an idiot. I forgot how to count and ended up with 9 instead of 10. So here's another level review. Supumba. 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 This level happens to be a 5 letter gibberish word, just like the last level. What the actual- I, I don't even- Why? Why, why, why? Ride on the magical spinning tridents and crosses to make it to the next platform, and that's the whole level. That's the whole level. And there's another group at the end, despite there being no need for it. Wow, this level is bad, and short, and stupid. 0.12 out of 10.